Hi guys, um, recently I did a video uh, about uh, choosing the right furniture for your HMOs. Uh, last night I was just talking to Mickey, a fellow investor in the area, who's about to kit out his first uh, HMO. So uh, I figured today what I'll do is I'll make a video um, and give some uh, tips and pointers on um, what dressings, uh, furnishing, electronic goods, uh, essentially what, how to kit out your HMO so that it's as functional as possible for the tenant uh, and for yourself um, to save you money in the long run uh, and hopefully keep everybody happy uh, which is really important uh, what to do so I'll include the links uh, to um, as many of the uh, items I've discussed uh, in the description below okay let me turn the camera around and we can get started so uh, essentially You'll be, um, the aim is to try and keep your orders to about two to three places. Um, this will make your trip um, as efficient as possible um, and they should also save you money. Uh, what I always do is uh, we get our white goods uh, online. Uh, I normally use uh, appliances online. Uh, they deliver. You can pay about three pounds to get all the packaging removed as well, which uh, saves you a lot of time. You can um, have the delivery people install them as well, um, but I'd recommend just uh, having your builder around um, because he knows where they all go and it doesn't take too long as well. So we always get this uh, fridge freezer. Uh, it's a 50-50 split. We always get two for a house of four or above. Um, Try to get the ones that um, do not uh, frost up in the um, in the freezer section, and that's really really handy. Um, okay, so that's the cooker. We always get a um, uh, an electric cooker, um, just uh, safety concerns more than anything, um, just so I can rest uh, and sleep at night. Um, we always get a washer dryer. That's because. Um, you know, tenants ask for it. Um, we really don't want to encourage tenants to uh, do the laundry and hang them out in the community areas. It, it creates a bit of damp, it smells, and it's just not very nice to look at. So, uh, what you do is you try to go to a big um, supermarket, something like a, uh, a 24 hour Asda with a home department, with a large home department. There, uh, you'll get all the electronic goods, so it'll be uh, toaster, microwave, uh, and kettle, uh, which is uh, um, the, the, the three basics that you need to get. Um, you'd also need to get a cutlery set uh, for four people, um, as well as uh, plates for four, uh, cups and glasses for four. There you go. Um, the reason it, it, it's uh, because it's uh, a new HMO. Um, People will bring uh, their own cutlery, but after a while it will get lost or, or damaged or stolen. So it's better to provide um, a set first, uh, and then it works itself out uh, after a while. Um, I would always include some um, dry, uh, some washing and cleaning products, especially bin bags. Um, just to start the tenants off on the right foot and encourage them to keep the place clean. Always get a large recycling bin um, as well as a normal uh, bin. Um, this rubbish area is actually quite small. Normally we'd have a dedicated rubbish area uh, for them, that which is quite important. Uh, always get oven gloves um, and pots and pans as well, which I believe should be down there so tenants can just move in and use them uh, essentially all the communal stuff um, most tenants would just bring their um, plates uh, and cutlery um, for everything else uh, then you'd go to IKEA, Ikea for the, um, the decoration so it'll be things like lighting uh, furnishing uh, flowers Uh, these things are actually very useful. Um, it helps keep the kitchen organised. Okay. Uh, 
So for the bedrooms, we always get a, uh, a digital key lock. Um, that will save you uh, a lot of time and hassle. Um, tenants generally lose um, their keys and, and they want to both get in and you don't want that, you know, you don't want them to call you in the middle of the night. Um, always get some hooks as well. These you can get from Amazon. They're really, you know, they'll last. Um, one for each room uh, and some for the um, bathroom as well. Uh, in terms of furnishing, uh, mirror always good because it helps makes the place look uh, a bit larger uh, lampshade that's just for dressing more than anything so uh, the bedding so bed sheets uh, that you don't supply uh, for the tenants they have to provide, provide their own uh, mostly due to hygiene reasons uh, and uh, high churn okay so essentially you want to keep the um, property looking as homely as possible. So you would go and get things like that in the furnishing department. Always get a bin for the toilet and the shower um, because they'll always have uh, empty toilet rolls. Okay, so uh, again, very important to have that's where you put your contact number and certificates um, and any um, information that uh, is important to the tenant um, what you generally want to do um, is make a uh, the property seem as homely as possible um, so you can get things like plants and these little wall hangings um, you can get those from uh, asda or even home bargains uh, they generally um, make the place seem a bit more welcoming so it's a home rather than a um, some sort of uh, room or accommodation well, it's also important always get a, a mat for inside the property um, because you want uh, tenants to kind of take off the uh, rub all the dirt of the shoe and keep the rest of the carpet clean for example like that Um, you also want a mat for the outside of the room as well. Let me try and get that out. Um, fire alarms, uh, sorry, fire uh, fire escape stickers. You can get those on, on Amazon. Um, relatively cheap. Um, I think they're about two pounds each. Um, again very important cool uh, and I think that should be everything let's go back in here um, all right so if there's uh, anything I've forgotten uh, do let me know in the comments uh, and I will reply with uh, uh, try to be as helpful as I can all right take care bye